So here we are with Alex Stewart, cricket legend, compare for the day. Uh, notice you didn't actually play any sports yourself, dishing it out but not actually uh, doing it yourself, Alex. Best way, Ian, you'll generally find I've become a better player since I've retired. So um, do as I say, not as I did, is my motto for today. So I enjoyed holding the microphone uh, and enjoyed watching the boys uh, trying to show off their limited sporting talent. Now, not that you're competitive for anything, Liam, but you're up against your Durham teammate, Paul Collingwood, and uh, an all-rounder rival in the England team, Tim Bresnan. Now, I bet you want to beat them at hockey and uh, tennis, don't you? Let alone cricket. Yeah, absolutely, you don't play a sport to, to get beat, so it's always fun to do different stuff, mate. I'm terrible. It's actually the first time I've picked a tennis racket up since well, I don't know, I've never really played a game of tennis. That's not what Paul Collingwood told me. He nah. said you, you're a junior player, you're very good, you've let yourself down, your, yeah, your family, yeah, everybody. Yeah. I, I should have taken it a bit more seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nah, I, uh, I played in net at hockey as well, so you can't really you can't really put my striking ability up there. Or you're a goalie. Yeah, I was goalie, yeah. Goalie, I was the only one daring enough to stand there, I reckon. It's normally the guy who's, I mean, with respect to it's normally the fat boy who's used to at, at, at actually hitting the ball who goes in goal. At least it used to be. Yeah, yeah, well, I was the only one that, I like putting all the kit on as well. <laughs> what do you think of Mr Henman's bowling action? It is a bit of work, I think, but it wasn't too far off. He just falls to one side, so I'm going to have to work on that with him. Yeah, he, I'll ask him later what he thinks of your tennis surf, by the way. <laughs> you can do that, mate. We're now on accuracy, which is precision. And who can... Basically, who can hit the wicket. Talking about Mr. Henman, what about his bowling action? It's, it's a bit debatable, I thought. I thought it was debatable? Of, I thought it was a bit of a throw there, you know. You're actually calling him a chucker? I think he chucked it, yeah. You, let's chucker. just get this straight, because this is a world exclusive. Yeah. You are calling tennis legend Tim Henman a chucker. <laughs> tennis legend Tim Henman is a chucker. <laughs> well, that's highly controversial. Possibly illegal as well, but uh, fair enough. Tim Bresnan has accused Henman of chucking the ball at bowling. What's your comment, please, referee? Well. We did look at it, we slowed it down, but I threw it to the ICC, the International Cricket Council, and they passed the action. They compared it with a few bowlers from around the world and felt that Tim Hedman's action is leading. Right, over to the tennis now. It's serving accuracy. And what about the tennis? How did that? How do you feel that went today? Uh, my answer, I got better as a, as a you know a few more serves. I reckon I'd have been on, on the money. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was quite close to the, uh, the tennis pot thing. Yeah. Do you feel, in hindsight, that if you'd started young, you could have emulated Tim Henman? Is it a great loss? I reckon I might have beaten him one day. Yeah. If, yeah. I'd, have, if I'd have played a bit as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there? Now the idea here is accuracy, serving accuracy. Who can that next? Yeah. Are you gonna you gonna mention this a few times if you beat your beat your cricketers? Probably not the way that we've gone. I think uh, we mention this to anyone to be honest with you. <laughs> letting on uh, these two. Did you play tennis at all? No, I'm not the best at tennis. I, mean, I enjoy watching it. Obviously, I enjoy watching a lot of sports, so it's it's nice to do this. As I said, it's a little bit different. Obviously, Tim Hemmings here as well, so it's good to see how uh, he comes about it. Uh, just announcing the winner, so I bet it's not me. I think it's Ben. Tim Henman. Oh, uh, he's, he's won it chucking it. He's won chucking it. Really? Yeah. Do you want to go and logic, logic complaint? I might go tell Stewie, yeah, see what he has to say. Yeah. yeah. So, sour grapes from the uh, the big burly Yorkshireman? I think, yes, a little bit of bitter northern um, is how you want to describe Tim Bresman. He is a competitor, but the rules are there, clearly stated in black and white. Bresman had them read to him, and Henman is the winner. Now, Tim Henman used to open the batting for Oxfordshire under 11s, so he could claim to be a cricketer of sorts. Messrs Collingwood, Breslin and Plunkett, representing your fine game of cricket, shall we say is not a great loss to British tennis or indeed hockey? No, I think you're, you're right there. Tim Henman, good all round sportsman, obviously went to a good school, was educated, three cricketers, 
aren't and weren't. <laughs> now, you redeemed yourself, as you should have done, bowling. You managed to hit the wickets and, and hit a bit of pace, so yeah. all is not lost. All is not lost, no. I suppose uh, we were under a bit of pressure to do that as well, like the Ockel as were to at the net. Um, and to remember to serve it in, and he did. Uh, so we were just doing his job really, weren't we? Now you're off to Bangladesh yeah. uh, for a, a test series and also one day matches. Yeah, we go uh, Saturday, go to Dubai first, play against Pakistan and the Lions team, get the squad thing, then off to Bangladesh. It's going to be a tough tour, to be honest with you. Uh, cricket's improving massively, so it's going to be good to see how it goes. Well, we're standing here at Wimbledon Park in southwest London. I would say it's about freezing. So you must be absolutely gutted in the knowledge you're going to Dubai at the weekend. I'm actually happy going because my fingers are still ringing from that hockey shot. So uh, I'm looking forward to going to Dubai. It's going to be, as I said, tough cricket and the weather's going to be perfect. So although you are a cricketer yourself or were a cricketer, you're, you're not a little, bit, little bit embarrassed by your, your colleague's performance today? I think it's just a modern day cricketer, to be honest. I think the game has changed going back in my day. In my day, we were excellent. We were brilliant. We were the best cricketers around. But nowadays, I think they're more interested in the money. They don't work hard enough and they get what they deserve and that was nothing today.